So I'm going to show you guys how to test your Easy ABL control boards really quick. You just need to make sure the board has power. You can either power it from the DC jack or from your power supply. And you do not need to take this out of the housing unless you want to use a self-test button. You can either use a self-test button or you can plug a working sensor into the port and use the sensor to trigger the circuit here. In this video, I'm going to be using the self-test button. If you are using the sensor, just plug the sensor in and put something underneath the tip of the sensor so the little red light on the board lights up. I'm going to set my multimeter onto resistance mode, and what we want to see is when we press the self-test button or we trigger the board with the sensor, we want to initially see a really low resistance of under 200 ohms. Ideally, you'll see right around 0 ohms, and it will climb up a little bit after it's on. We want to see that initial rating be right around 0 ohms. So I'm going to go ahead and put my probe leads on here. I'm going to go ahead and press the test button here and let it go. And when we press this, we want to see a low ohms. Now, if you notice when I let off the button, the resistance jumps up. That's normal. I'm going to press this again. See zero ohms. Now, if you're not getting a zero ohm reading right away, you can flip the little switch here and press it again because some multimeters will only read resistance in one direction, we've noticed. On this one, it actually seems to read in either direction. It doesn't seem to care. So we know this board's working. Now, if for some reason, regardless of what position you put this switch in, you're not getting any change here, or it's thousands of ohms resistance, then that means that this opto IC has failed and this board will need to be replaced. Hope this video has been helpful and shows you guys how to test your EZABL control board.